everyone. This is Bev from Art by Bedell. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to work on the inside back cover of this journal. We are closing in on this project. Boy, am I going to miss it. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is I want to put this envelope that has two windows and I'm going to stitch so I have two pockets here. And to begin with for this, let's set our journal aside. I want to cover, color the whole thing with some Distress Oxide ink. In order to do that, I need to protect my windows. So I'm going to take just a piece of copy paper. Now we have that pretty much like that. I will take some washi tape, keep that in place so it doesn't move as we're working on our window. And I want you to remember too, when you're working on these windows, that you don't take the heat gun to them because they'll shrivel right up. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> how about we go around it, leave a very slight border, and then we can fix that border afterwards. All right, there we have it. Our windows are protected. How about we see about coloring this now with the Rustic Wilderness Distracts Oxide ink. And we're going to do front and back. Well, we're going to do front because we're going to glue the back down. I have one of the applicator tools. And I'm just going to go in with my ink and color this all up as best as I can. Not too worried about the printing on it right now. This is just a background for me in case there's any pieces that show through, which I'm guessing that they might, that we don't have the white showing through, but we have this pretty green showing through instead. All right, that's looking pretty cool so far. Let's take one of our brown inks and now go around the outside of everything. And I think I want to use Ground Espresso. And let's hit the outside edges with the brown. So you can see we're really grunging this up. I think I would like at this point now to add some yellow spray. Let's go with orange spray. And I have Distress Oxide Spray Carp Pumpkin. How appropriate, right? And watch the magic happen and see what we get here. I think I'd like a little bit of water sprayed on that also. I have my mini mister here. Not quite the effect I want, although I love the scrap paper around it. This is going to be a nice piece of cleanup paper. We'll have to let that dry. We're going to add uh, yellow Distress Oxide Mustard Seed. And we'll let that dry. All right, we have our envelope all colored up now with our inks and it's dry. And I'm going to start working on some collage elements on this. Okay, so what I have done is I have colored the inside, inked them up a little bit with my ink so that when you opened it to put something in or out, you didn't see the white paper. I have chosen this long piece of sheet music to put on the left-hand side of my envelope, that'll be the side that's toward the spine. That's the side that will be closed. And I will just lay that right on top of there. I think that looks really cool with the coloring that we have going on. We're really doing a grungy page here, guys. And then I have a piece of the paper that I have used. This is scrap that's left over that I have used otherwise in other places of the journal. And I want to put a piece of that on here. And I also have some of the napkin left over, just some pieces laying around, just using them up. And I'm gonna put this on here. And then, let's see, I have done off camera, let me show you, uh, some pages in the journal, some papers in the journal, let's see, right here. These ones, they were coffee stained paper, and I went over them with some inks, with some stamps, this was a stencil, this is a stamp, this is, um, the stencil with some gesso. I applied lots of different leaves on there and colored them up. And then I run over the whole thing with a brayer with white gesso and then stamped with the white gesso. No, excuse me, use the stencil. And then I stamped some words on here. As I was doing this, I had ink on my stencil and I needed something to clean it off on. So I cleaned it off on this index card here. We're going to take this index card that's so pretty done, and we're going to use this as our insert into our pocket here so that we have real pretty color 
coming through our window. Another piece of cleanup paper I had was this, and it was just a leftover piece of copy paper where I had trimmed something down throughout the creation of the journal. And after I used the stencil with some spray on it, I laid this on top of my stencil and rubbed all around it, and I got a print of a leaf. And so I wanna use that on the front here. Now, I don't care that it's overlapping my windows. My windows, I'm, my purpose for my windows is to add more color to the outside of my envelope, and it has done that with that index card. So I'm going to glue this on with my YooHoo glue. Three quarters of it will be glued on top of the left-hand side of our envelope. The other quarter is going to overlap on the windows, just like so. Now, I had stated at the beginning that I was going to make two pockets, and then I found this index card, and I'm like, oh my, I want to use this in our project. So it fits nicely, perfectly, actually, and so we're going to use it. I also have a piece of the ruffle leftover and another piece of this napkin, which I could put there and extend this line up through there. I don't like that idea. So I some dictionary paper or some music sheet and then our ruffle. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. So we will just think up the edge of the music sheet and glue that on, trying not to overthink anything again. I really like this look with the stencil. And then I'll put my little piece of ruffle on with some fabric fusion. And I'll just dot along my, my stitched line that I had done. And then I'll take my ruffle and I'll just put that on down here, just like so, that's cute. Now we need a word. Um, I have some of my stamps out, so I think I'll use up my, use one of my stamps. And I think the one I want to use is me, Harvest Fall Colors Autumn, Time for Sharing. And I'm gonna stamp that with the Ground Espresso. So I'm thinking this is pretty cool. I'm not real impressed yet with my lines here. I did cover them up with brown ink after I took off my paper and my wa uh, washi tape. So I might have to go over them with some of the gold leafing. I'll have to figure that one out. But anyhow, there's our envelope. Now for our index card, we need to go around the outside edge of this first. And that's pretty enough, it can be left just alone. Let's put it in here and see. And let's try it out on our journal and see what we think. So here's our back cover. And you put that down like that. And I think maybe if we put some of that ribbon that we've been using, some of the orange one underneath, let's just give this a whirl and see what we think. I think that's a good one. I think we'll do that. So we'll tear the ribbon. This does shed, guys. You can encase these little white flecks. They are bumpy on one side, which is where they've been splattered. And then on the back side, of course, they're protected somewhat. So if you lay that down with a splattered side down, then you will encase those in that and they won't um, shed as much. There we go. And we're going to put that in place just like that. Now, before I do that, I want to go around the three corners of my envelope with the machine stitch. So I'll be back. There we go, we have that part done, and I'm going to glue it down. Since I don't want the glue to show through the, the ribbon that we have, I am going to just glue behind where I'm going to have my envelopes. And I will use the fabric fusion because I am gluing to whatever that's made out of, a piece of fabric, I guess, I don't know. All right, I have that all glued down. While the glue is setting up and taking hold, I'm gonna have a heavy book on, over top of this. So I'm gonna set this aside. Before I set it aside, I need to measure where my windows are because I've decided I wanna do a little collage on here. This color is pretty enough through the window, but I think I would like either a pumpkin through here or up here showing through. So let's put it on the bottom. The window will be here and here and it'll be up from there about this far and it goes to here so it starts somewhere like here to here and it goes from here to here that's the general area that my window is in and then i can erase these lines and I've just made them light enough so I can see them. So we'll just do the one window. Let me see if I put that in here and just do one window. Is there enough color? There is. So let me put this under a book and then we'll work on the index card. All right, so now I know where the window is. 
So let me check out the two sizes of pumpkins that we have. I think that's too big, definitely too big. We could use this little one here. And this was our window right here, our opening for our window right here and here. So if I put my pumpkin there, we're good. Anything else, it will be fine. So I want to put a little bit behind that pumpkin, but I'm thinking we're going to need to go a little bit darker, something darker there. Why not our brown paper? Yes, that will be darker right there. Then we can add this and then our pumpkin can sit on that. And that will show nicely through our window and that will be enough on this whole thing. Okay, so let's do that. We have to go around this though with the antique gold rub on because we have on everything else. As I was wiping my fingers off and I looked over and I seen these pieces that I took off our window that we were protecting. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's really pretty. And I'm thinking, hmm, I think we need to reuse these. And let me see how that looks. If we just use that now, I still want the pumpkin to sit on the dark piece. But what if we do that? We could still use this piece of Echo Print scrap. Now it just takes away the purpose of the whole idea of using that because you can't see it. Anyhow, and this is what I thought was so pretty was this part right here. So let's save that. I want to put this here. I definitely know I want to put that there. So I'm going to glue that down. So as you probably know about me by now, as I go through my process videos, and I think we've had about eight of them, if you've seen them all, you realize I'm kind of wishy-washy. I will look at a piece and think, well, that belongs there or that belongs there. And a lot of this I edit out of the videos. Otherwise, you would be here like for an hour or better watching a video that you can get the information that you need from in 10 or 15 minutes. So... There we go, and the pumpkin sits on that, and that looks pretty cool. Let's get this pumpkin edged up a little bit and glued down. The edge of there, that's right there. We want most of the pumpkin in the window, which I think he will be. And let's get rid of our pencil lines. And if all goes well, then this should show through our window if my measurements were correct. I think I'd like something down the side. I haven't used my script stamp in a while, and I'm gonna use that with this oxide ink here. And I'm gonna go down the edge of our index card with my script stamp. Usually I use it with embossing, but today I want to use it with some ink. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, this finishes it, guys. This really, really, now look how that just changed that whole thing up, very nice. I think that now completes it. Let's get our book and see what we think. Okay, here's our journal, and let's slide this in and see if we measured right. Yay, we did. Look at that. The pumpkin shows right through our window. How cute is that now? All right, I'm very happy. All but, how about that little piece? I think we had another little piece right here. Is it too little? Maybe it's too little. Maybe it's not worth saving. And I don't see any other scrap of ruffle laying around. Oh, yes, I do. Here we go, right here. And this is big enough. How about we make a tab for the edge of our page like that? And we have used this on the outside of our envelope. Let's put a little piece on here and then glue our tab down. I think our script stamp here was the game changer for this project. Put this right on the edge like this. Now that could have went, you know, the other direction too, but there we have it. Isn't that cute? What a nice index card. And then on the back, of course, is room for journaling. That completes this project for today, guys. So we have the inside cover now done to our journal and we have the um, inside front cover left to do. And this goes inside here like this. See the pumpkin from the inside and you can see the pretty tab from the outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and we shall see you again soon. Bye now.